Welcome to CyberDestec. CyberDestec is one point solution for all your remote IT requirements. We provide remote IT services and support for IT health checks, disaster recovery, cloud and virtualization, automation, network infrastructure with security and much more. Contact us at info at cyberdestec.com. Hi friends, welcome back to another tutorial of FortiGate Firewall. In this video, we will see how to configure traffic shaping to optimize our bandwidth traffic. Basically, what traffic shaping does is that, uh, if, for example, if we have a 10 Mbps speed and we see that uh, it is being consumed by users who are just using it for surfing purpose or just watching YouTube etc. What we can do is we can configure traffic shaping and we can configure it on the basis of uh, services on the basis of applications and we can try to limit the traffic so that we can utilize it in an efficient manner. So for configuring that let's log into our firewall first. And before configuring it on the FortiGate firewall, first I would like to show you the internet speed from one of the LAN computers. So let's log into our LAN computer. Okay, we will open the browser. And there's a quick website to check your bandwidth speed that is fast.com. Okay, here it is. So as you can see it is now showing that our internet speed is 20 mbps as you have done the quick speed test so what we are going to do in the configuration is based on our services that is http and https we will configure the traffic shaping policy and we will configure it as if anyone wants to access http or https they will only get 2 mbps speed rather than getting 20 mbps so let's log into the firewall again in the firewall, we will go to policy and objects and we have traffic shaping policies and traffic shapers. So before configuring the traffic shaping policy, we have to create shapers that we will define in our traffic shaping policies. So let's click on traffic shapers and there are already created traffic shapers but we will create a new one. When you click on the new, you will get two types of traffic shapers. One is shared one and one is per IP. Shared basically means that if you define a particular speed here, let's say 5 MB. So this 5 Mbps will be shared with all the users which are there in your LAN. But if you select per IP and if you define 5 Mbps, that means each user will get 5 Mbps. So we are going to go with uh, per IP. We will name it as uh, web 2 MB and we will, the max bandwidth that we are going to select here is Two zero 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 two thousand kbps will equal to two mbps. Rest we'll leave it as it is. We'll click on OK. Now, as you can see, our web two mb shaper per IP shaper has been created. Now we'll click on policies and objects and traffic shaping policies. We will click on create new. We will select the source as our LAN. Which is 192.168.30.0/24. Destination we will select as all services. As I said, HTTP and HTTPS. And you can also do this traffic shaping based on the application category or application, and also on based on URL categories. So you have a wide variety of options here to use. Just for the demonstration purpose, I'll be using HTTP and HTTPS. An outgoing interface will be our WAN interface. So we have created per IP shapers. Per IP shaper, we will enable it. And from the drop down menu, we will select our traffic shaper that we created here and make sure the policy is enabled. Click on OK. This is all we have to do to configure our traffic shaping policies. Now we will try to log into computer again and try to check our bandwidth again. We will just refresh this page. And as you can see now it is showing that my internet speed is 1.1 mbps we have set the maximum speed of 2 mbps so it is exactly showing us as under 2 mbps as you saw that previously it was showing you the 20 mbps completely 
So this is how easy it is to configure a traffic checking policy on 48 firewall. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you haven't subscribed to our channel, please subscribe to our channel and thank you for watching.